now see the quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 greater than or equal to 0 given split into factors x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 6 greater than or equal to 0 first two terms take x common x plus 3 plus next two terms take 2 common x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 now x plus 2 x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 now draw the number line plot the points this is a number line minus infinite plus infinite now what are the points So the given function is greater than or equal to zero. That's why you will get closed curve at minus two and minus three. So answer is x belongs to minus infinite comma minus two closed union closed minus three comma infinite. See the fifth question how quadratic equation but there is no factors then how to do that x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 4 less than or equal to 0 these three terms we can write x minus 1 whole square plus 4 less than or equal to 0 Generally, we know that x minus 1 whole square means it is always greater than or equal to 0. Square is there now. Negative impossible. Square is there now. Negative impossible. Okay. So now x minus 1 whole square add 4 on both sides. So, x minus 1 whole square plus 4, it is always greater than or equal to 4. This is a correct. But here, x minus 1 whole square plus 4 less than or equal to 0 given. Therefore, there is no x value. There is no x values so answer is x belongs to null set answer is x belongs to null set students are you understood now there is no solutions here 